I'm Tom Weiss, and this is the Ambassador's Report. And I'm standing here on Ammunition Hill with the founding director of Manhattan Jewish Experience, Mark Wilds. What a place to end after quite a journey, huh? This is, in my mind, the greatest place to finish up a trip in Israel, to be able to bring our group, many of whom have never been to Israel before, to go to the actual place where Jerusalem was fought over, where the great Israeli paratroopers were successful in defeating the Jordanian legions, in being able to come back and reunify Jerusalem after so many years of being outside of Israel and then 19 years of being kept disconnected from the entire land. Bless our This is Manhattan Jewish Experience, learning about Israel through music and articulation. Botenu Abraham Yitzhak Yaakov, was blessed our forefathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who Yivarech et Chayalei Tzva Haganal Yisrael. May he bless the, the members of the Israeli Defense Forces. Hamdim al Mishmar et Seinu, who stand guard over our land, Va'are Eloheinu in the cities of our God. Mikvul Halavanon from the border of Lebanon, Ba'ad Midbar Mitzrayim to the desert of Egypt, Umin Hayam Hagadol from the Great Sea. A sophisticated, attractive group of professionals in their 20s and 30s that are, for the most part, in Israel for the first time and with first hand experience, who walk the land themselves and will return so much more aware and connected. You know, Israel is, uh, is part of the fabric and makeup of Manhattan Jewish experience of really expressing our connection to the land of Israel. Uh, you know, it's more than just uh, our prayers on a Saturday morning and more than the classes that we teach about the history of Israel, but it's literally walking in the land of our forefathers. And uh, it's doing it as a community. It's doing it uh, with our students and our students with their teachers. And, um, you know, as, uh, as with anything in life, um, seeing is believing. Are you trying to make people as aware as possible of the overall situation? No, I think the idea is to lay it out. It, in general, not just with a group like this, I think that our greatest weapon is the truth. And here it's not a question of using it, it's a question of exposing them to it. Creating ambassadors for Israel and the Jewish people. This is the part of the cream of the future. And they have a job as far as going back and really being ambassadors for Israel, absolutely. taking the information that they have and absolutely. saying, hey, absolutely, these, these, these are people who came here because it's Israel, not because it was Israel versus Greece versus Italy this year. Uh, they're here to experience it, they're here to learn it, and certainly to bring it back with them. MJ is an incredible organization that fully and wholeheartedly accepts everyone in the community, whether you're searching, whether you're observant, whether you kind of just found yourself there or are fully intended on being there. They just welcome you with open arms and help you to experience Jewish life in Manhattan and make connections that will last a lifetime. With all of the events, programs, learning, and love, what is so special for the world to know about Manhattan Jewish experience? I think it's the community feel. A lot of organizations in New York, a lot of them do really great work. Not too many of them offer a community. A community is not a program. We have programs, but the whole point of the program is to give people the feeling that they're part of a larger network of people that actually care about each other, coming regularly to events, classes, services, and to give the 80 to 90 percent of American Jewry that are not um, being serviced with a community, to give them some access to that community. And it's very hard for me to put that in words. It's a feeling. People have a sense that it's not just an organization I attend. It's not a class that I come to. It's not a service I attend. It's a, it's a group of people that I feel a belonging, a sense of belonging with. And that is um, that's tremendously powerful in an in increasingly alienating kind of world. Um, New York can be a very exciting place, but it can also be a very lonely place. You cannot even... Imagine doing outreach without Israel being a major part of it. How do you really reach out to an unaffiliated Jew? How do you impact upon them without bringing Israel to that person? Without Israel, our ability, my ability, honestly, to be successful is limited. If you bring somebody here, it's just it's transformative. It's an amazing organization to be involved with, and I think it's a great place to kind of grow and to kind of find out 
you know, your Jewish heritage. And here I am in Israel, and um, I took the next step. You know, I, I came to learn here, and I love it here, and um, I recommend everyone to come here. The Manhattan Jewish Experience is a very special group of people, ambassadors for Israel, step by step, bringing back messages of hope, peace, and the great complexities of Israel that they've learned as they walk the land, that they bring back to their parents and their friends on the west side of Manhattan. As that message is taught to people around them and then to the world, step by step, American Jewry and way beyond has the opportunity of stepping up and making Israel the Super Bowl, but bringing back home to the communities such beauty from the land. I'm Tom Weiss, and this is the Ambassador's Report for InfoLive TV.